What's up, YouTube? I'm Josh Shulin. This is episode six of season two of the off-season series. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a lower body workout I did, as well as sharing my favorite lower body exercises with you. Okay, so this video, um, I don't have time really to go through all the sets, reps, explain all the proper form and everything behind all these exercises. But the question I got was if I could share um, exercises I do for the legs. So thank you, Jose Sanchez, for that question. I'm gonna be answering that. The way it's gonna work, I'm gonna show you guys lower body workout I did um, with a few of the exercises I normally do just kind of explain it as I go and also about the workout before um, we pick up and what I recorded I did abs I did plyometrics and at the end I did you know some finisher stuff so just to be clear with you I'm just showing you the weightlifting sort of lower body exercises or resistance training would be better to say and then after I'm going to share with you all the other exercises I like to do um, which I can't do all of them in one workout but share my other favorite exercises and breaking it down by mostly by muscle groups. So like always, comment your questions down below. I'll pick my favorite, Eric Center next Wednesday in the next episode. But with all that said, let's just get into the workout. I'm gonna be showing you guys my workout exercise I'm doing my workout right now. Um, just lower body leg stuff minus the plyometrics and ab work I already did. And I'm at home right now, I have limited equipment, just dumbbells, so I'll also be throwing in other clips from the gym when I have more equipment. Just explain it. First of all, you got hip thrusts. There's these dumbbells, and you can do them just laying down on the ground with your back on the ground. I like to have my back resting on something. You know, if I was at the gym, I would have a bench here, but instead it's my bed. These really get your glutes, get your hammies going. <clears throat> so, get into that right now. Just one set. some lunges. So these, lots of the back of your legs going, but especially your quads. Uh, <clears throat> just gonna do some reverse lunges. And of course you can also do these forward lunges and you can just do continuance where you keep going. I just like to do reverse lunges right now especially with the dumbbells. Alright so the next exercise I'm doing is Romanian deadlift. Um, I'm going to be using both of these and we're going to do two legs and then I'm going to be super sitting back with split squats. Romanian deadlifts, single leg or both legs are really good centric exercises for your hams and your glutes. Um, so let's hop into it. <laughs> Those ones you feel a lot more in the quads. These are just normal split squats. 
feeling your quad, your front quad, and then normally, or no, your rear quad, and then a lot of times your front glute. <sighs> this one suck. Of course, switch legs. Make sure you get even reps on both, both legs. All right, so for the last thing I did this day, I just did some leg curls here. I used socks, and you need a floor like hardwood or tile like this to, to do it. And just focus on squeezing um, as you come up. These are pretty difficult, challenging, and really burn. And these are a great alternative for leg curls if you don't have the machine. You can do these at home. And I also did single leg with this which was even harder, just doing one leg at a time, same exercise. All right, so that was what I did um, as far as resistance training for my legs on that day. Normally I do a little bit more. That day I was running a little short on time. I also obviously didn't have access to a full gym. So normally the way I split my workouts, well, specifically each workout, is I start with core and abs. I think it's a good warm up. So start with that. And then I go into plyometrics, um, my explosive movements, because those require the most energy. I um, just like to get them done first, and that way you're truly working on your explosiveness. Right after that, I go into my heavy lifts, which normally for this, I'll do back, either back squat, deadlift, or leg press. Back squat is really focusing on your hamstrings, your glutes, I mean, pretty much just overall your thighs. Obviously, great lift. Deadlift, a little more so. Most of the emphasis, if not almost all of it, is on your hamstrings and your glutes. Very good exercise well. Just got to have proper form with it. And then leg press, just great overall for your thighs. And great for developing power and strength. Those are some of my three favorites. Then I'll go into more the hypertrophy lifts. Uh, muscle building so more sets and more reps and specifically for glutes and hamstrings got a few of those ones i already showed you guys um, which i can do at home with just some dumbbells but ones that i'd use a machine for i like doing leg curls um, sometimes with both a lot of the time single leg curls because having single leg strength um, and building up muscle in each individual leg is so important as an athlete as for my quads, um, leg extensions, and I have a few different variations of these. You can do both legs. I like to do single legs more often than not. And then I have an eccentric version. I got this from Matt Sheldon from the Come Elite, where I saw it from, where you go up with both legs and it's heavier than you normally do for just single leg. So then when you come down, you just let one leg take the weight and just try to resist it on the way down. It's really good eccentric workout. It's pretty hard. You'll be sore after you do it. So that's what I like for quads. Another one that you can do with no weight, no equipment, I just didn't do today, is another sort of eccentric um, for your quads. And it's like you get set up like you would do a Nordic curl for your hamstrings, which by the way is another very, very good exercise for your hamstrings. Very good, proven to reduce injuries, hamstring injuries by a lot. You get set up like that, except you just lean back instead of leaning falling forward you lean back um, and that one is also good for your knees and can be for your ankles if you stretch them out so just lean back um, into it as deep as you can go and return to the top now for muscle groups that might be smaller but still very important for calves most of the time with calves you're just going to be doing calf press or a variation of it so at home, you know, I do these standing. Um, I'll try to get a spot where I get a little raise up. So I get that little eccentric stretch at the bottom. And I like to use dumbbells to make it harder. Because sometimes you do body weight, you have to do a bunch of reps to get tired. You can do single leg, you can do both legs. You can do it with or without that little raise for the extra eccentric stretch. <clears throat> then you can do different things with holding it there. And at school, I'll use their calf press machine because you can change the weight and stuff like that so that's what i pretty much normally do for calves 
And again, I'm, I'm not a bodybuilder. So this stuff, it's not like I'm doing five sets of 10 and 10 different exercises for each muscle group. I just do normally about three each workout and focus on training like an athlete, that getting that explosiveness, that max strength, flexibility, mobility, as well as building muscle. You wanna focus on all those things. As far as abductors and adductors go, these um, at school, pretty much most gyms have a machine where um, you get in it, you spread your legs out wide and then you squeeze them together and then you can do the opposite, you put them in tight, squeeze them out wide and that thing burns. It looks like a mom workout, but it burns, it's good for you. And you can also work on these. I like to do it with a cable sometimes too, pretty much doing the same thing, put a cable on my leg, go out, to work the outside, to work the outside of it. And then I put my leg out with the cable around and then squeeze in. So that's what I like to do for my abductors and adductors. Those are important muscles not to miss. And of course, there are tons of other exercises. I'm just sharing with you guys the ones I most often do. And like I said, this is not including all the mobility work, all the plyometrics, explosiveness stuff injury prevention exercises so this is by far not a full program or full thing of all the exercises i do i just wanted to share specifically the resistance training um leg lower body exercises i do so thank you jose sanchez for asking the question i hope you guys enjoyed this learned something at least got an idea or saw an exercise you haven't seen before that you can add to your routine to your program i didn't want to prescribe exactly weight reps or sets because that is something you need to figure out individually. And that's not something you should paint a broad brush with and tell everyone do this amount for this amount of reps and time and all of that. So like I said, comment your questions for me below. I'll pick my favorite. I'll answer it next Wednesday, in the next off season episode. And I'll answer any of your questions regardless in the comments. I'll just choose one to answer in depth in a video. If you enjoyed, please like this video. And if you like this kind of content, please also subscribe. If you want to check out the other off-season episodes, I'll link season two up here. We are six episodes in, and I'm just sharing you guys my journey leading up to my junior college soccer season, what I'm doing this summer, my training, stuff like that, and also answering your questions every episode, every week. So thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. I will see you on Saturday.